Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Phil, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to take a look at, uh, well, um, this game from Nintendo and Retro Studios. It's, um, Metroid Prime Remastered. Ooh. If co because, of course, I mean, when they shadow dropped this thing, I was like, oh, oh wow. Now, hmm. That would be hilarious. <laughs> oh. oh no. Wait, what? Okay. That sounds pretty good. Let's see, go back. Let's go back here a little bit. I like that idea. Let's unlock some stuff. Take a look at the controls. Winter controls. Huh. Um. Let me go with the original one for that. Oh, man. Look at that. It's for people who might be a little, um. You know, colorblind. Nice. I like that. And you can change the intensity to it as well. It's kind of nice that they have that. Let's check the sound. Mm. Oh. Mm. Titles, of course. Yes, I like it. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. Saving progress. Let's try it. Only three safe spots, though. <clears throat> Play a normal. What's kind of funny is I have Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. I have the trilogy and Other M, but um, let me let you in on a horrible secret. I've never beaten any of the Prime games. Or other M. All the other Metroid games, though? Yeah. But not these ones. But I love part of this inspect. I like the, um, I like the scanning portion of it. It's one of my favorite parts in Resident Evil Revelations. And I, I, I like that it felt kind of like this, but in a horror setting. The cosmos. In the vast universe, the history of humanity is but a flash of light from a lone star. The life of a single person should be lost in space and time. But among the stars, there is one light that burns brighter than all others. The light of Samus Aran. Her battles extend beyond her life and etch themselves into history. Here, another chapter of that history Jeepers. Thank you. She's gonna go to this, uh, to the event horizon. <laughs> Can't wait to see what they do with Metroid Prime 4. Although I hope that we you know it'd be really great if they put out Metroid Prime 1 remastered and then they do a Metroid Prime trilogy and it's or Metroid Prime Collection, it's just two, three, um, other M and Hunters. <laughs> or Feder with Federation Force is some kind of like thing. Oh, this is... Oh, look at this. 
There's those. Hmm. Oh wait, scamming, yep. That's pretty useful. All right, let's go over here. Asteroids. Oh, wow. You know what I would really love with this, though? Imagine Nintendo was like, hey, yeah, we're putting out a, a successor Nintendo Switch with a little bit extra power. If they did something like that, first thing I want is this with ray tracing. I've been playing um, a little bit of other games, like uh, that. Some of which have which have uh, um, ray tracing, and I love ray tracing. Hmm. Thing's dead. Oh, okay then. Oh, well, look at those. They're little, little guys. Are they friends or foes? I think they're foes. Oh. What happened there? Oh. Let's see what this thing is. High levels of radiation detected. Oh no. Here's this poor guy. Space pirate, hmm? Yeah, we'll take those things out so we don't have to deal with them. Oof. gonna do that you made me do that buddy all the scanning
I kind of wanted to do it something different though. Ah, I wanted to go through that little thing where the other things were. Oh well. Gosh, beautiful. Yay, there's these. Oh, man. Ah, oh, yes, all the phase on stuff. Oh, you're alive. Hmm, not for long. <laughs> Ooh, look at those, though. This stuff looks great. I just like looking at everything. Uh, this the, I remember this game being super pretty on this on the GameCube, and really liking that on that, and even on the uh, Wii. I thought it was I thought it was one of the best looking games on the Wii when it got moved over to the Wii. So it's like, yep. All the story is told through these things. I'll turn it malfunction. Recording to download. Mutagen. I'm gonna keep playing, but I kind of don't feel like uh, I I, I kind of feel like I don't really um, want to like uh, play a bunch of this on stream or whatnot. Just want to kind of do what I do, just play, not worry about like having to do any commentary or whatnot. Also. I'm playing with these headphones on currently, right? And I'd rather play with my sound system. So I'm actually gonna end the video here in a little bit and just like tell you that what you should do is if you, that you should probably pick up this game. If you are a fan of first person shooters, uh, you should pick up this game. Everyone should buy it. Um, it looks really nice. It's a good game. I'm not gonna even bother diving too too deep into this. You just you should just play it. That's what I'm telling you. We gotta hop into here. But 
yeah, you should play it. Don't let this get you down a little bit. I mean, this is... The game is not as claustrophobic as these. There's some really, really pretty vistas in here. And we'll get into those at some point. But for right now, um, check out this game. This is Metroid Prime Remaster. I'm going to play through it some more. And I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> yeah, until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.